Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And if you are a Windows 10, Windows 11 user, um, of course, there are all sorts of little quirks and quirks about the interface that are inconsistent. And one of them is the dark mode. Of course, dark and light mode introduced in Windows 10. Um, started with just a few things with actually switch then uh, many apps started to switch but still it's incomplete and so you might be switching to dark mode and the settings app for example will work great but then you're going to click something brings you to control panel which is not dark mode it's still white and so on and um, this is something that annoys a lot of people we almost thought Microsoft had abandoned the idea of continuing to um, add dark mode everywhere we haven't had any new changes in light, dark uh, in quite a while. Now, the uh, latest beta and dev versions are starting to introduce more dark mode on more apps, and including uh, some will see that a dark mode control panel will actually show up at some point. So it seems that the kind of took a team and said, you know what, we got to get back on track with that dark mode and make sure that when we switch, it's going to work everywhere. Um, great example of how it's well done. Well, simply look at a Mac computer. Dark mode or light mode switches everything. It's simple. It works. Um, it's difficult to understand why Microsoft has such a problem with doing it on Windows in the same manner. But then again, Mac OS and Windows do have a lot of differences. So uh, some of you might be happy to know that, well, it's they're, they're, they're still doing things. They're still going to work on it, and they're adding some new dark mode uh, here and there. Another inconsistency that has not changed much, and this one annoys um, some users for a different reason. Uh, for example, the different fonts, fonts that change from page to page, when everything should technically be the same thing, same size, same font for the text, and so on. Uh, that one, they haven't changed and haven't done anything on that in a very, very long time. So we don't even know if that is something they want to fix. But uh, now it's actually not a bad idea. I think it's good that Microsoft is getting back on track and making the light and dark mode more uh, consistent across Windows 11. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.